Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where today we are going to be discussing race mode and everything you can expect from it. I'll try to share with you everything that has been said about it in public channels on the Discord server as well as the teasers of course. There are a few things that I know that haven't been said in public but I'm not going to leak any of that. Anyway, let's get started. We've been waiting for race mode for over two years now has been on the main menu. If you've played Fracture Day, you probably know that. And you're probably wondering why hasn't it been released during those two years? Well, the main reason why it hasn't been released yet is because of development issues with there not being enough developers. However, with yeah, new developers joining recently, including a new scripter, it will probably go a lot faster from now on. This was also the reason why the game has been lacking in updates in general during the last few years. Now let's talk about race mode itself. How is it going to work? As set on the main menu screen for race mode, it says random cars, random tracks. So if you press enter and join race mode, you'll enter a lobby with other people and the game will and the game will pick a random track and a random class. If you and the other people in the lobby don't like it, you can vote to skip the track. There's of course also the boosters button, but that is the same as the one in the practice mode. Once the waiting in the lobby is over, everybody will be teleported to a track where they'll be able to do, choose a car in the class that was selected. If you don't choose or if you take too long to join or if you're AFK, you will not be joining the race. There hasn't been anything said about a qualifying session in race mode, but since there's no collisions, it probably doesn't matter where you start. According to this uh, teaser image, the game will be keeping track of everyone's progress using the its percentage, which is similar to the what they have in mid racing Tokyo. But I'm not sure if this will stay in the final version. Another thing I'd like to mention with race mode is the upcoming currency system. This is something that's coming in the future where you have to buy the cars yourself. Of course, you're wondering how is this going to work with race mode? Because if you have a have to drive in a class of which you don't own any cars in race mode, how is that going to work? And uh, this is something that hasn't been said in teasers, but I remember reading something like this in the one of the chats on Discord that. If you have to drive in the class of which you don't own any cars, you'll be able to drive at least a car, which may, maybe even multiple cars, but you'll have to use a reference white livery similar to the reference white livery that's already on the GP2 car. I'm not exactly how sh this is going to work, since most of the cars don't have a reference white livery, but most cars still have to be remodeled. So they'll probably receive a livery once they are remodeled. One last thing I want to mention is private servers. Because if you own a private server, then in race mode you'll be able to set up everything yourself. Like track, uh, class, race length, all that kind of stuff. Of course you got to keep in mind that the final version of race mode could still be very different from what I described in this video. A lot of details are still subject to change, so so don't take everything what I say here for granted. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you're looking forward to race mode, just like me. And make sure to subscribe if you want to see more informational videos on Project Track Day, like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!